for us. Uh, we basically took the, uh, the microservices architecture um, of uh, our cloud and brought it down uh, uh, on-prem closer to the edge. But, but this is actually not just missed, right? You know, if you see in the industry today, Amazon Outposts, you know, um, Azure Stack, um, uh, and, you know, VMware Dimension, the, the edge is being redefined, right? The, the, everybody loves the, um, the agility and, and feature velocity and, and manageability of the public cloud architecture. So we're bringing that kind of architecture down to the on-prem world, right? So now, uh, what is Mist Edge? What does Mist Edge do? Mist Edge fundamentally for us, um, in, historically in the wireless industry, uh, we brought a brand new software architecture to the entire industry, but there are certain network topologies that didn't align with a cloud-based deployment, right? Uh, where you had to push VLANs to the edges. So we had to, uh, and so for us to be able to win some of the large higher eds and healthcares and, and large co-located campuses, essentially what we've done is we've made Mist Edge, uh, you know, have the first app on Mist Edge is really a, a, the VLAN centralization. So today we have a, uh, um, a large co-located campus, about 3,000 APs, it's the headquarters of, uh, of one of the top four US service providers, and we're displacing their controller network uh, with, uh, with Mist Edge, again, all of the visibility, all of the manageability, all the feature velocity, all of that, the goodness of public cloud exists, but that one app now is closer to their edge. So they don't have to touch their wired network to get to a cloud vendor, right? So, um, but there are other apps that Mist Edge can actually uh, bring to bear. You know, uh, as you saw, Marvis can actually start to get wired data in. Um, now Marvis can actually get data from adjacent systems via Mist Edge. If the uh, DHCP server or the Radius server is not accessible to us from the cloud to get data from, uh, we can actually take it through Mist Edge, right? So this is now in production for us uh, in large deployments. As I said, um, uh, probably in the next uh, couple of months, the largest deployment would be about 3,000 APs. We have another customer. Uh, we won the, uh, the customer uh, that will do about 25,000 APs uh, centralizing all of their guest traffic uh, um, into Mist Edge. So this is uh, uh, deploying at scale. Sorry, Keith. I, is Mist Edge a product, a service, a appliance? You use it like it's a word. Yeah. And when you say Mist Edge, there's nothing in my head that I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, uh, so Mist Edge actually it comes in all of those form factors. So we have a uh, uh, the uh, um, VMware um, uh, a VM of Mist Edge. Um, uh, we have we actually do have appliances for Mist Edge as well. So uh, it operates like sort of an extension of our cloud. But uh, we have um, you know appliances that go uh, I think 500 APs, 2,000 APs, 10,000 APs essentially. Uh, d depending on the sc scale of the network that we're uh, transitioning so, about. So it's, it's services running on a piece of dedicated hardware. Mm -hmm. Could be your hardware, could be their hardware. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So it's like a collector, an agent, something local that's sitting yeah. there. Yeah, okay. and and also happens to do you know VLAN centralization. Uh, uh, it's so a tunnel endpoint. It's a tunnel endpoint. Can we yeah. just call it a controller? <laughs> yeah, we're. <laughs> <laughs> It's Asking a, it's, for a friend. It's a tunnel uh, controller. Uh, no. <laughs> Bob's Bob, Bob wishing he brought his baseball bat. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to, right, I mean, what we've done is visualize Amazon. We've kind of taken a server at Amazon and stuck it somewhere on-prem. And so you got to wrap your head around that microservices architecture that we're running at Amazon, right? And we basically want to make sure we don't lose that value when we move this function over into the on-prem solution. Now, to your point, the first application that we're sticking on here is a tunnel terminator. You know, but there are other applications that want to run an on-prem. So the same microservices that we're running in Amazon, we want to take that microservice and stick it on this premises. But the key of it, we don't want to stick it on top of an embedded architecture. Right? We want to basically stick it on top of a distributed cloud API architecture. And so that's probably the key point of Mist Edge. But the, tunnel, the tunnel termination can't be um, just glossed over, though, because if you take an established environment with thousands and thousands of APs, that's thousands and thousands of switch ports and hundreds and hundreds of switches. So, you know, Mist comes to town and says, you know, we want you to buy us. And then 
that established environment says, but look at all of this layer two work I have to do to get away from that because you're essentially fat APs at the VLAN level short of this. To make that all go away, it's pretty huge. It's pretty compelling. Right, and that's why Miss Edge was created, right? We right. wanted that functionality. I mean, that controller functionality, one functionality it did was basically was basically a gateway <coughs> terminator, right? It allowed us to basically tunnel across any network, right? You know, we basically created tunnels, and we make, I didn't care what network you had, I just tunneled back to this, this entity. How much user interaction from a, like a network admin perspective does it require, or is it pretty much, it goes out, it finds it, it knows, it says, hey, I see this tunnel in point. Right. That's right. I built a tunnel, I guess. It's, it's very much like right. a, a MIST AP. Okay. Right. Uh, and, you plug it in, it, uh, it's in the cloud, it's managed in the MIST cloud. Sort of discovery, the, yeah. the APs just know, hey, this is an IP, I exist on the network, go yeah. find it. We right. claim it, and, and uh, once you attach it to the MIST cloud, uh, it's fully managed to the MIST cloud. Right. And from an operation point of view, that's the point, right? That function, that gateway function, I don't care if that function runs on your prem or in the cloud. From an operations point of view, it just looks like another microservices that we're running. It just happens that we're going to be running it on prem instead of in the, right. it'll actually run in the cloud too. If yeah. you want to turn everything back to the cloud, we can do that too. We, we, we actually, example being, we just won about a 30,000 student uh, uh, higher ed, um, uh, you know, uh, pretty large uh, higher ed system. And yeah, they, they exactly like Lee said, they don't want to re-architect their whole wired network. You plop in a missed edge, uh, actually a couple of them. Uh, we, it's, it's an automatic cluster. Everything that we've needed for that function to be resilient reliable and manageable already exists. In per the, SSID tunnel? Per, actually, it's, per, it's, it's per uh, sub-segment, right? I, on the same SSID, I could tunnel a VLAN, and I could not tunnel a, v, a separate VLAN. Okay. It's not even, it's so more granular. It would be great for like a, a, a guest network, right, where I have Absolutely. candidates to have yeah. it. Okay. We're, 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 we're deploying a network that, uh, go, uh, you know, they have facilities in 180 countries. 180 countries, and and you know, Mist Edge will actually centralize a lot of that. So, so kind of uh, maybe missed one of one question. Mm -hmm. um, what are you using for that tunnel to get to your for um, L2TP V3 um, uh, between the AP and uh, and Mist Edge? Yeah. Okay. So where's where's the tipping point if I'm a customer and I say I have X number of APs or mm -hmm. X infrastructure to say, and at this point you probably need to go to Mist Edge. Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Um, uh, one of our customers, uh, uh, the public all mentioned the name Dartmouth College. Uh, Dartmouth basically uh, put a gun to our head and said we're only going to deploy with Mist Edge, right? They have about five six thousand AP campus, and they're actually uh, Brian Ward and Felix will tell you. They're now happily deploying without Mist Edge and just have, have decided to sort of re-architect along the way as they're deploying. However, I think for us, this is a customer choice. It truly becomes, if you want to retain your network topology as it is, even if you had 300 APs, right, and you just want to centralize all of it and that's the way you want it to be, no problem, Mist Edge is there. Right, and so there is no, you know, either lower limit or upper limit. On the upper limit side, we are scaling to, you know, tens of thousands of APs with multiple clusters, and just like every other industry vendor. The point was there was a white space for cloud companies uh, um, uh, that we could not address: large higher ed, large healthcare, large co-located campuses. Now this one, we feel we are open for business across the entire premise. Right? How, how is Mist Edge no, licensed? I'm okay with fine. <laughs> uh, same thing. Uh, just like uh, the current one, uh, it's per AP, right? So uh, that's about it. Yes. So you're not paying any additional fees for for that? Right. Yeah. No. Okay. Five minutes. Yes. Uh, what's the underlying platform? You said bringing microservices to the edge. Is this a appliance with like a microservice architecture, uh, Kubernetes, Docker? Uh, what, what's the underlying Bob, technology? What was the question? What, what is the underlying platform for Mist Edge? Linux, right? Yeah. I mean, so it's on a Linux platform or DPK. So there's an actual, I mean, it's, you know, for the tunnel terminator, right, we're basically terminating data planes. Right but we're all Docker containerized. Uh, um, right. th I think that, that was right. the question. Uh, so Docker containerized, uh, we have a bunch of services already running in Kubernetes in our, in our cloud, but uh, Mist Edge itself right. is Docker containerized. Yeah, so it has the same Kubernetes extension of our cloud. So when we deploy code every Wednesday, you know, Mist Edge is just part of that continuous integration cloud cycle. So it has that same microservices API architecture. Yep. Is, is this a solution for a customer that doesn't want to allow the access points direct access to the internet? 
Um, yeah, uh, so that's right. I just that's right. Appliance to talk, we, yeah. we do have deployments where our APs don't go directly to the internet. We go through uh, um, proxies and stuff. Um, so uh, one of our large deployments, PetSmart, 13,000 APs all go through one data center through proxies and stuff. So uh, that, that is there today. But this is if you actually truly want to centralize all that data. Do you have like a deployment guide where you details how to? Yes, actually... yes. There's a full deployment guide. Miss.com slash documentation. Uh, Mistage is already on there. Uh, it's it's uh, public uh, right now.